心啊Missed the volley, but that's uh, Talon Greek Sport in a nutshell. He won't mind missing there because it's the type of point he wants to play. Controlling with a forehand, moving forward, maybe just a few early nerves there on the volley, but he'll make those as the match progresses. Serve for Kazo, 217. Plenty of fast twitch fibers for the Frenchman. Good start, strong start for Kazo. We talk about that agility, speed, and how exciting a prospect. He actually was a handballer, played handball for, for seven years growing up, was playing handball and tennis, and then 11 years old he had to, to make the choice whether to stick with it or not. And there is uh, the coach of Arthur Kazo in the white cap there, Stefan Hue, who in July 2000, had a career high ranking of 96 in the world himself, so yeah, he could play this sport, that's for sure. But yeah, he credits uh, Kazo, his hand, handball background for his big serve. It doesn't surprise me. See the win predictor there, that's probably fair enough. Quick score has to be favorite here. When you think of the technique on handball, I mean, it's so strong in that shoulder, the throwing motion. I think of a lot of American players over the year who credit that sort of, uh, you know, even baseball, American Seven, football, a lot of sort of throwing over on sports for their good serves and definitely a translation there. And the, the speed and agility you know, change direction quickly. Export had a we went over another exciting French prospect in Atafis in the previous round in, in four sets. Roman Safulan, we know, can be very, very dangerous in round number one. A long match, 7 5 in the fifth set. Yeah, two sets to love down, Greg Spore. Looking down and out there. Oh. Off the back of two straight set defeats at United Cup, it was. Uh, Looking a little bit of a shaky start to 2024. It's amazing, isn't it? You sort of dig in. Unbelievable effort to come back. Won the third set in a tie break. Set four, six, four, set five, seven, five. Three hours, 50. 
Then he beats Feast, which is a big win, avenging a first round defeat to the young Frenchman in the first round of the US Open. And here he is in the third round with a chance for his best Grand Slam result ever. Things can change so quickly. Searching for a tennis ball, the ball kid. I'm just trying to locate it. There it is. Sense of the speed from Kazo already. Not just the speed, how about this for a little dink cross court? Seriously soft hands there. Just up in the ante. He's going after it. He's got the break. Just a great atmosphere being created in here from uh, well, the French fans, but uh, about 15, 20 of them in particular. Cazor well with comfortably the more confident start. Coming in here off the back of a challenger win in Nume as well. He's uh, as confident as he's ever been in his young career. fan of Kobe Bryant has actually got a, a couple of tattoos that I inquire about these things personally uh, Colin but he's got the word resilience on the tattoo on his shoulder also a Scandinavian compass Compass is talking about the whole uh, idea of destiny and the journey of Scandinavian mythology. So it resonates with him. The resilience was about his junior career where he, he suffered a, a lot of injuries to get back from those and earn the opportunity here. Kobe Bryant, of course, known as the, the Black Mamba. 15, 30. Hence the, the snake on the arm. He did reach number four in the world in, uh, in juniors. In fact, the, the big win for Kazo over Holger Runa in the previous round. There was a bit of 
help from the familiarity there between the two. They played three times in juniors. Kazoo winning two of them. That always helps when you're sort of the, you know, the, the wild card playing the top ten player just to have that bit of familiarity and comfort on the court. He made it count. Spring the court nicely. He's also reached the final of the Australian Open Juniors back in 2020 on his way to that number four ranking in the world in juniors. Which again gives him good vibes, confidence on these courts. He's moving very impressively here. Quick score is a big guy, he's a powerful player. He's uh, struggling to hit through Kazo so far. start for Kazo against a vastly more experienced opponent trying to get off to a confident start really set the tone He's got the better at the start. Kazo with an early break. And the wild card leading three love in the first. The Greek sport looking about as comfortable as a middle seat in a long haul flight. He hasn't quite got into this one yet. He looks a little anxious. And it's Kazo who's confident and relaxed. You can, you can do all the scouting you like, but it doesn't replicate when you actually get out on the court the first time playing someone. And already you can see just the frustration from telling Greek sport. He had a rough idea of what he was expecting, but because they're just playing with so much confidence. And you do see that time at majors where maybe the more players who aren't fancy to get through to, to week two, they just go on a tear, they just go on a run, they play with just such confidence, they don't even think about it. So telling Greek sport with some work to do early on in this match. Because they're getting the early break. land the first blow Greek score we know he's gonna like to get forward put that pressure on oh have some of that 13, 15. for sir it wasn't the best it was uh, into the hitting zone and it certainly got hit look at the eyes popping this guy's plugged into the mains. 
It's now just putting enormous pressure on Griggsport. Just no time to settle whatsoever. Pressure on that first serve in particular. Going to start hitting the mark. Just like that. 40, close to the line the point pretty much done well I'll tell you one thing you didn't need to do and that's play the forehand like this sort of hopping onto yes. one leg it, it's a bit of a showboat that and when you're just sort of trying to find your rhythm in a match I think something a little more orthodox might have been the, the order of the day there Take it. Gazzo, on the ball. Five, three games to one. Just to get himself into the match. We suspect that Kazoa was a good win over Holgaruna in the previous round, but not that much best of five set experience. That there'll be ups and downs as the, the match goes along. He'll play up. is only going to get better in this match Still very early days this is first for the match already mentioned it but the pop that he's got on the serve that 214 he's fastest so far in the match 221 he's averaging 215 early stages I know but he's bringing the heat it's big it's a powerful racket he uses because oh but that's just the end product that the big power is coming from a really dynamic technique, great leg drive, rotation, and a really quick arm to match the quick start here. 
Absolutely. Got the break advantage in the opening sets, Kazo, and he leads five, four games four to games one to here one. on court three. He's exactly six foot or 1.83 meters, Kazo, but he just generates so much power. One two play. He has a few challenger titles under his belts. But three titles, and that's given him that rise up the rankings. His highest 108. Actually, the first week of the year after that win in New Mears dropped down slightly because he had a big run Time. at the start of the last year. He was on a 13 match win streak at challenger level. Just knows no fear at the moment. Good export, trying to keep this ball nice and deep, but anything just remotely short, because I was just going for it and it's coming off. Well, wow, that was very unusual. This stage of the match, Dunlop 30, not to even run for a drop shot. And it caught him off guard, but his head's a little scrambled here, Greek Sport. some free points to settle himself. Just send a message down the other end of the court. Just the game he needed. Working with Christoph Ligen. It's a time apart. Got back together in 2023. It's been highly successful.
So it was a, an alternate for the, the next-gen finals, the ATP event for, for the younger players on tour. It was in Jeddah December last year. Went in, in case someone else got injured during the event. Had to pay for putting that drop shot up, but they did a series of, of tests, all the younger players. It's called a base camp, so all the usual stuff, the 10-metre sprints, they did vertical jumps, star drills, amongst other things. There were four of them. One player won all four, and he's standing out here on court today. And he's not telling Grigsby, I'll give you a hint, Colin. Let's well, when you consider that... Another Frenchman was there, Arthur Fies, who would be known for his uh, physical attributes. It's uh, even more impressive from Kazo. We've seen already, you know, he's uh, springy, he's quick, live arm. Another example there, 217. 15, 15. featuring another big serving player in Hubie Hercatch. So early on, able to cycle through service games at the back of a big first serve. We're seeing it here. Oh, except for that. Look at that from Griggsport. 40, 30. Maybe just a, a spark for the Dutchman there. Doesn't look overly impressed though, does he? A little grumpy in the early stages here. He's behind in the scoreboard, but he's looking a little ratty. <laughs> Just showing up. Bit of a tendency here Jeez. to fall behind in some of the baseline, baseline points, Kazo. And you know, when the serve does come back and in, into more of a neutral rally, he, he looks more comfortable sort of staying in the baseline or a couple of meters behind it, moving side to side. He's got to be careful, he doesn't just allow Greek Sport to dictate. And from Greek Sport's point of view, it's exactly what he wants. He's got to look to push Kazo back, step in, and, and play his sort of attacking tennis. Because we're going to make sure that the first ball behind his serve, when it does come back, is a you know it's it's purposeful. Mm. Well, if you just match your fastest serve so far in the set, two twenty-one. Turn of server for 221s. K Thunderball from Kazo, but he couldn't finish it off. Longest rally of the match. It's 5 2 for Kazo in the opening sets. Have to go to a 
friends at Hawkeye to find out a little bit about the reaction time of a 221 kilometre serve for Greek Sport to make that connection so cleanly like he did with that return. Didn't come up with a point, but it's amazing. Well, we're talking split seconds. It was certainly less than a, a second from the, uh, the ball coming off the racket to the return and making contact. So, you know, you don't have time really just to react. These players are sort of subconsciously trying to read based on where the opponent's favourite serve is or where they've been going in that moment or particular scoreline in the game. They're trying to read the toss, the, the body time. position, the racket position, everything sort of goes into it. Of course, you can't get it right every time, but Prince Moore has shown that he's, he's dangerous on occasion on return. But this has been clean from Kazo, confident for seven games. That last point as well in the rally. More opportunities on the Kazo serve. So, Talon Griegspor, the 28th seed, serving to stay in the opening set. French supporters loud and clear, but as I mentioned before, there is a lot of orange in the crowd. The Dutch fans have come out to support Greek sport today. Sport. We'll go to 40 love. One of his best, maybe the best forehand he's hit so far. Just starting to get his game going. Oh. Stand and deliver That's again easy. from Kazo. Not for the first time. He hits his spots, Greek sports, not just about pace but accuracy as well. Oh. So game point 40 15. Oh. Okay, he's just under siege. He misses that first serve. Even when he makes the first serve, he's under all sorts of pressure. Yeah, new balls giving him far less time to react. Very quick out the can. He's done up Australian open balls. I'm going to make you feel better. A little bit. Now to try and make some inroads on the... Kazo serve. Some signs in the previous Kazo service game that... Greeks war was starting to acclimatize to what he was getting from down the other end. Only 
lost three points out of 17. When that first serve has landed, he's made a good number of them. Big sport just beat him for pace again. That's the first set for the wild cards after Kazo. Six games to three. Second set, three sports to seven. Not just uh, Kazo, but the French in general having a really strong tournament. And plenty of support here in Melbourne. 15. Reno through to the fourth round, big win over Shelton yesterday. Umber currently on court against Hubert Hercatch. Oh. Hercatch though serving to take a two sets to one lead. side, Ossian Dodan having a win earlier today on this court against Clara Burrell, all French encounter there on the women's side. Well, that's the sort of point that Greek sport will want plenty of. To be able to dictate the terms. Really spread the court, move Kazo around. Yeah, some nice uh, stats just on that French success, uh, Pete. Kazo and Umberg today, bidding to become the 29th and 30th French players in the Open era to reach the round of 16 here at the Australian Open. And if they can 14, both do it 50. and join Manorino in the round of 16, it'll be the first time here since 2016. Can you name the players? Three Frenchmen in the fourth round, 2016. Good finish here from Greek Sport. Oh, I'm going to say, if we're going prominent, one piece. First game, second set. Sorry, Correct. Correct. Oh, is the third one going to be? Oh, the brick wall. Gilles Simon. I thought you were going to go Gasquet there, but it was indeed. Gilles Simon. I think was it that year that he played a five-hour match on what's now John Kane Arena. So we have a look at the win predictor. That's a bit of a shift. They've just switched the names over there. I think it's fair enough because it was probably the favourite now, not just because he's got the first set, but the feel of the match. Looks more confident. Long way to go though. Seeing Greek sport, the, the heavy serving from Kazo, just making a few more returns back into the, the first set into this set. I just wonder if he could block a few more returns, chip them. He, he, he's just struggling with the pace from Kazo. Maybe give himself, you know, a meter or so more space and time block it back into play because it was not the biggest hitter off the ground no, nothing to do with that 40, 50.
control from Griegspor on that occasion. That's why I'd like to see him just block a few more returns, because I feel like when he gets into the point, he's probably got the edge in the baseline rallies. He's got more firepower. of his first serves are going into play. He's lost the four points on his first serve thus far. And the other thing too is talk about that the fastest serve at 223, but that average 209 the first serve. It's big. Average. Really big. Incidentally, was broken back in that third set against her cash. So, right the Frenchman going well there over on John Kane Arena. Just the service game he needed, telling Greek Sport. Comfortable Greek hold to low. And we're on serve. It's 2 1 in the second set. Tennis HQ building across to court number three. Garden Square to the left. Plenty of spectators there watching the action on the big screen. Yeah, some nice deck chairs under some shade there. It's a good spot to hang out. I've seen you there a couple of times. <laughs> Just enjoying yourself. Why not? Mm. Slides beautifully there, Greek Sport just got a little bit too much on it. Oh. 
When someone's serving this well with a first serve, as a returner, you, you almost feel added pressure when you get a look at a second. You feel, I've got to win the point here, because they're hardly winning a point against the first. Oh. And that just makes life even more difficult. Just got to try and stay composed, tell yourself that chance will come. Positive return there. 20, that stat of returns into play has risen from about towards the back end of the, the first set. Still a struggle very much on the first serve, but getting some opportunity second serve. So still pretty comfortable. Two games on. Hasn't had a break point on his serve as yet. Uh, right, looking looking on the coach of at uh, Kazo. Pretty happy with the way things sit right now. Action from Greek Sport. He rushed immediately after he delivers the serve, barely any time to react. And that's a little of what he could do. That's a classy volley. And it's a much better reaction. The fist pump getting fired up. He seems to have uh, decluttered his mind here, Greek Sport much focused on, on the match. Oh. <laughs> it just does them at will. No hesitation. Greek Sport. Hit a huge backhand of his own there. He's thinking, I'm at least on top of this point. Definitely not expecting Kazo to hit a winner off that ball. to get forward to such a hallmark of the Greek sport game. Keeping himself in front. He's on serve in the second set. Big score set down, but 3 2 in the second. Settling into a real contest between these two as for the crowds around. That's Kia Arena centerpiece, which is the function center here at Melbourne Park. Tennis HQ, the white building in the background, looking across to the mighty, mighty column MCG. 
Key Arena in the foreground. John Canarina off to the left. And down to Grand Slam Oval. Uh, getting a bit of grass space and enjoying the action today. Beautiful day. So sit and watch some tennis. Hits, or one miss in particular for Kazo. They're coming off. Yeah, he's very fortunate there. It's not going to improve Greek scorer's mood. He was hitting the ball. He said heavy there, the Dutchman. First for the match. Yeah, I don't mind it. 40 love, it's not a bad time to bring some variety. Went for the big second down the tee, just missed. Shouldn't be any damage done here, you wouldn't think. Continues for Greek Sport to try and get a good piece of the Kazo service game. Kazo playing here is the world number 122. He was 108 earlier this month. And the nice uh, carrot from dangling here would be uh, a place in the top 100 if he wins. I'm sure that will be a matter of time, but. memory that would be just to add to it you know making his first grand slam fourth round and breaking the top one he's currently 101 in the live rankings so he's really knocking on the door Love well, be careful here Greg sport there's more signs of frustration he's at the same end as his team which sometimes can be positive sometimes a negative it's you know to become distracted and spend too much time venting at their team. Let's. Even lets are annoying him at the moment.
you know, it comes back to what you're saying right at the very start of the, the match, Colin. The additional pressure of being the favoured player to win here. The, the guy with the seating next to his name, the numbers next to his name, and a big moment to, to make a breakthrough here at Melbourne Park. Not happening at the moment for him. What a strike there from Kazoo. If I'm honest, I thought he missed it. He's in the air for a long time. Just clipped the outside edge. And uh, the score graph is actually just wrong there momentarily. It's love 40 here. Saved a couple more to come at So quick there, because oh, even just to run that ball down, and it just adds to the pressure that Greek Sports feeling most of the time against most players. That'd be easy put away. 13, Not this 14. guy. This is a massive point. It's potentially the match on the line here. Last of three break points. Kazo. Oh. And you know what? He's going to take that every day of the week in this current situation. Oh, my goodness. When that clips the tape, it's just heart in the mouth. Please go over if you're Greek sport. Please don't if you're Kazol. It creeps over, and I tell you what, if Talon Greek sport wins this match, we're going to look back on that as a pivotal moment. Greek sport. Advantage. Greek sport. A little burst of speed to get up to this one. And then great control as well. The racket out in front knew exactly what he wanted to do. Could have been risky. support as well to raise the decibels because it's not going to make Greek sport feel any better that's a lovely volley kept the rack out in front actually I feel like just waited for 
Greenspore to make his move before nudging it in behind him. It's amazing how sort of energized Kazo and yet how calm he is mentally. Match of this magnitude for him, this atmosphere. Too good, way too good at the moment from Kazo. The hands are unbelievable, the touch, the speed, everything working. Advantage, Kazo. This guy's everywhere and he's believing that everything is possible. Knew he was going to get to that ball, but it's another lovely little touch on the lob. for Greek sport because he's being outplayed for the 21 year olds that's a Kazo. he's up another break now it's 4-3 in the second six Kazo leads by four games to three well amongst the French support there's a, a bit of booing going on there because Talon Greek sport obliterated a racket And there is the core violation amongst all the commotion. But it's just, for me, it's a glass half full versus glass half empty attitude here. Mm. And, and the outlook of Kazo, the willingness to chase everything, believing that anything is possible in these points, that's what's got him to this uh, set and a break advantage. Greek sport looks like he's got the weight of the world on him, is that the high ranked player, the chance to make a first, fourth round of a slam. And he's not going to be using that racket again. He's had no free points, or virtually no Time. free points the entire match, telling Greek sport. Nothing has come easy for the 28th seed. Bit of a story developing here on court three. It's middle Saturday, and the first Saturday of the Australian Open for 2024. To Kazo, the 21 year old on the cusp of the world's top 100. At the moment he's out playing the world number 31 and 28 seed. on the court. Oh, this guy's having the time of his life. <laughs> I mean, there isn't a ball that he won't chase out here. It was good to see the double thumbs up to say he was okay. It was even better to see him knock out a couple of push-ups.
Just a slight limit when you consider we're talking about a 30 all point. Shows the 30. dominance that Kazo has displayed in his service games. This time, no help from the net core for Greek sport. Disappointing when you know, you've got a 30 all point second serve. Move deep in the core. First and foremost, to make sure you get the return in play. That was a real gift. serve I see that ball just take off the work on it 152 Ks the challenge averted yeah that thing seriously jumped and <laughs> again five, five, clarity of thinking from Kazo who maybe just lost a, a touch of rhythm on the, the big flat for a serve but he's got the presence of mind and the confidence to, to trust the kicker and he's continuing to dominate this match. Just reaching for that ball, quite in position. Even on the return, I saw how precise that return was. Deep into the court, plenty of margin, but so, so effective. This one here. He didn't do whatever he wanted then off that second ball. All that time being taken away by Greek Sport. He's been under siege, and as I mentioned before, he's had next to no free points. Everything's been a struggle for him. He's had 15, to play 14. a couple of extra balls on most points that he wins. But now he's facing a two set to love deficit. First serve cranked up, telling Greek Sport. Allowing him to be able to get forward, Cheers. construct the point as he wants to. Of course, without seeing here, Greek Sport would love to at least make Kazul 
serve for the second set. I'm just not sure he's in the headspace where he's going to be able to do that. Advantage, cousin. just looks so tense and irritated as a result. Playing his second Grand Slam third round match of his career. The first was here last year. Oh. And it hasn't been a good performance this far. Well, and now he's facing another two set to love deficits. That's a Kazo. He's firing. A story developing on court three. Kazo, two sets to love up. of court number three. 15. Tough to attack this second serve, isn't it? Look at the jump off the court and the little hop to the right as well, the, the kick on the ball. Tough to time. Who's a touch? Fourteen. Bruce Paul using the, the off forehand a bit, and that's just lining it up because oh, with that backhand up the line. That's a great combination of shots on an important point. Thirty all there. Again, the composure and the feel just to finish here. This little grip change at the last second. Exactly the game that Kazo needed just to keep Greek sport down Best here. Sense. Did well just to keep his uh, concentration after the extended break after the second set. Yeah, let's go to the win predictor. Oh boy. Well, a lot of the win predictor is based on the, the ease with which. The players are holding serve, and well, Kazo has been holding very comfortably. He hasn't faced the break point yet. He's broken Greek sport three times out of eight chances, and the win predictor certainly feeling that's all going to add up to a, a French win here. Well, let's not show talent, shall we? Because he started off at 68% at the start of the match. Too good.
Oh, again, this, this is just pressure here completely. His mind is all over the place. Can't get anything going today. No rhythm. Very few free points. And now in massive trouble. Another break. Nothing going the way of telling Greek sport today, but that's due to what this guy's doing. Well, it has been largely the first two sets, but goodness me, that was a terrible game from Greek sport, who you thought would come back with a bit of optimism after his break from the court. That's maybe the worst game he's played all match. And now, oh, to a Kazol has this match on his racket two sets and a break place on the fourth in the fourth round at stake I guess also Greek sport probably wasn't expecting to be in the middle of Melbourne and make it feel like he's playing at Roland Garros or Bercy at the end of the year because was listed at six foot 183 centimeters Put it in a request to get him really measured. He looks bigger than that to me. He's just still growing. He's 21. Yeah, maybe maybe that is a, an old measurement. Greek Spore listed at six foot two. Kazo looks at least as tall, if not taller to me. Maybe it's just because he's jumping so high on this serve. Greek sport just at this stage with the scoreline as it is, you cling to moments like this. So 1530, because they're throwing in a couple of double faults in this set early on. He's latched on to 221 serves and I'm right onto his racket. Difficult, but the moment, the way things are going, he needs to make those. how high he's getting up off the ground there that's good drive up into the serve Continues for telling Greek sport. Kavata Kazo. Big things may be coming. He's two sets up and a break. Three love in the third. Take a look around. Grand Slam oval filling up. Oh, 
Shade sails over the top and catching all the action on the big screen. Can't get out to one of the courts because they're packed. They've got plenty of options. And settle in for the day. Dave Arena in the background. To the right is Kia Arena. Behind was John Kane Arena, this magnificent Melbourne Park precinct. On the sign of, I think, where things are at at the moment for Talon Griggsport out of the chair first and forlornly just walking back to the baseline. He's running out of ideas. French camp. They're ready to celebrate. Like Gilles Moriton, there, the president of the uh, French Federation Tennis, has made his way over from the John Kane Arena, perhaps, where Umbert. He's playing her catch. Two sets to one and a break for her catch there. But as I say, French are ready for a party here on court three. what you would think it's got to take some kind of confidence from coming back from two sets of love down in the first round and tell himself that it's possible he's, uh, he's in a massive hole here but it's not over yet there's a decent chance Kazoo might tighten up a little as well 15. Oh, this is good from Kazo, just taking a little bit of extra time. Griggsball wants to get on with it. He's being made to wait. at the moment telling Greek sport well, that hopefully will make him feel a little better on the board now, start off well, in this third set. It's still a long way back, as you say, Colin, but that should give him a little bit of heart at least. I mentioned it earlier in the match. I just feel Greek score has got it. make as many returns as he can for me maybe try and just block a few back in he's, he's given himself plenty of space behind the baseline here and you've got to give yourself time when someone's serving as big as Kazo. you can see there even you know a, a relatively weak return back in play just gives you a chance Love 50. Kazo for the match 51% of his serves have been unreturned, 30 out of 59. So that is imperative to Greek sports chances of getting back into this, got to make returns. Oh.
chance he's had he's 30, 50. it's ended in that kind of outcome a miss from Greek Spore and visible signs of frustration no so those half chances the way that so I've been serving, they've been so few and far between for him. He's got to take them. Hasn't had an opportunity to break in the match. And that will continue. Running away with this now is Arthur Kazo. Two sets up and leading 4 1 in the third. Two hundred and twenty kilometers an hour down the tee. There, still plenty of juice in the arm. Well, that average is still there. Two hundred seven point seven average speed on the first serve. Finalists in the last football World Cup, weren't they? The French epic final. They lost to Argentina. They've created a football like atmosphere here on court three. From the minute Artur Cazor walked on, they've been raucous, they've been loud. And there's no doubt in my mind they've helped him. Time. been an hour and 38 minutes of pulsating tennis from Mathieu Cazot. Italian Greek Sport has struggled to find a response throughout this match. Needs one right now. 15. He's achieved a lot in 2023 Italian Greek Sport and out of that We've had a lot of belief. He needs to employ it now. 15. It's just rolling away from him. Too many unforced errors. So sharp on the return as well, Kazo. Any time Griegspor hasn't, you know, hit the corners, he's been making him pay. There's another one, very nearly a clean winner. That's just a sign of what this match has been for Talent Greek Sport. He got there in so much time. Normally that'd be a regulation put away, but not today. Yeah, you feel for it. Talent Greek Sport is a much better player than he's uh, brought to the court today. Just uh, falling 
victim of overplaying this match in his own mind. Yes, Kazo has been very, very good. Jeez. I don't want to take anything away from him, but Greek sport, it, it certainly seems, is going to look back on this match with some significant regret. Why? He's been in the rallies, but he hasn't been the one to set the tone. It's been on the Kazo racket pretty much right from the very first game. Kazo today has made 71% of returns. Really plenty on the second serve, but it's a high number of extra balls that Griggs boy has to play. And it just builds up pressure like that. Another miss, another unforced error. He's 33rd compared to just 14 from his opponent. isn't it 14 on four stars playing in your first grand slam third round 20, 29 winners too <laughs> well if you've got the confidence you can do whatever you like and that's exactly what Arthur Kazo is demonstrating it. right now. Kazo. Well, he's walking on water here. Looked like he might get a little caught by that ball, but just nonchalant. Notches it over the net. The story of the match right there. This guy is box office right now. He's looking like he's going to roll through to the fourth rounds. It's rock and roll from Kazo. Kazo leads. What a performance. There was Kingston. never a doubt he was getting to this drop shot. And in my mind, there was never a doubt he was making this pass. Lit up court three from the moment he walked on. He has completely dismantled the world number 31. That's not easy. So easy to lose your bearings on the court, miss hit the shot. He's flushed it down the line. And he's serving for the match. 15 up. Been one of the more dominant displays we've seen for the week here at Melbourne Park. Mm. 
Dirty look. The confidence, mentally, everything going his way. Racing the match points. Australian Open 2024. That's a kazoo. Right outside the world, top 100 has dismantled the 28 seeds, and he's through to the second week for the first time in his career. This could end up being one of the stories of the 2024 Australian Open. What a performance. Flawless from start to finish. Well, the French are having a party on court three. And Artur Cazot is the DJ. Look at these scenes. Absolutely incredible. 21 years of age, but his first ever Grand Slam third round. There's got to be some nerves, haven't there? Not nope. for this man. He was just <laughs> the coolest man on court three this whole match. Served well, returned well. He's an incredible mover. He showed lovely little touches and, and feel when he needed to. And his box office as well. He's got some tricks up his sleeve. Thoroughly deserving to win. And move on to round four. Oh, absolutely, absolutely, Colin. He's got Hibi Hercash next. More on that later. One hour and 46 minutes. Unbelievable numbers from Marta Kazo. Yeah, the first serve was massive. First set in particular, he really set the tone. He was 70% first serves in that set. Greek sport hardly laid a glove on him. Didn't create a break point the whole match. 35. <laughs>